Story Harlem, and today we're going to be talking about these evil mermaids. They're called the Rizalka, the Rizalka mermaids, and they're creepy. They're basically this folklore, basically these evil mermaids who lure, who lure men to their doom, a lot like sirens, but... But unlike sirens, they live in rivers, ponds, lakes, streams, marshes, and they lure men. Some are, f some, some are friendly, while while others are rapid, and while others, some are friendly, and others are terrible, terrifying. Some look after children, and they save them from wild animals. So those are like the kind Rizalka mermaid. Then you have the evil ones, the ones. They'll, these ones are the ones that lure men. Well, it doesn't really matter, men, anybody. They lure them to their death while they, and they drown anyone that comes to save them. Kind of reminds me of Jenny Green Teeth. You know that witch that has in scum filled, scum filled ponds and, and catches unspits, unsuspects unsuspected children. I don't know why, but Jenny Green Teeth kind of reminds me of the Rizalka mermaid. Jenny Green Teeth is like this witch who lures misbehaving children and pretty much ends their life. She's named because she has green teeth. This is a really messed up fact. Parents would often use Jenny Green Teeth to frighten their children into obedience or they would encourage their kids to brush their teeth. Basically giving them better dental hygiene, which is great. Because my teeth, well, they're not yellow, but I've been eating a lot of sweet stuff. So, you get it. We all have a sweet tooth. Some of us have a fruit tooth. I have a sweet tooth. Or we, some of us had a vegetable tooth. She was a witch that was said to hide in scum-filled scum filled ponds and catch unsuspect unsuspecting children and she's what the Rizalka mermaids remind me of. You do not know what sirens and I'm so sorry. I will make a video about them, but I kinda already made a video about them. If you you would probably know that the that the iconic Starbucks logo is a siren. It's not a mermaid. For many years, I thought it was a mermaid. You know what? I didn't even know what it was. So this is basically the Starbucks. Logo. Basically, these this e these evil mermaid creatures who lure sailors to their doom. A lot like Rizalka mermaids. This is what Starbucks logo was inspired by. It was inspired by Moby Dick. They chose the name Starbucks. And that is how Starbucks became the most iconic and the most well-known coffee shop. Yeah, there's Docking Donuts and like... Well, there is one... Uh, there is one... Um, coffee shop that is a little bit better than Starbucks. And it's... Um, let me see. Uh, scooters. Yeah, have you not heard of scooters? Definitely not like the Ariel. Ariel, we know and we know and love. Sirens are basically evil mermaids. And they're not really see Mermaids are peaceful creatures, but sirens, sirens are violent. And this is what the original Starbucks logo was inspired by. In 1971, it was more like a brown color, and you can see her boobies were showing, which is uncomfortable, and her tail was split in half. So yeah, her boobies were showing, and her tail was split in half. She had a crown, but she lacked the star. Also, Starbucks tried to go back to their their iconic logo in 2008. But it got backfired and backlash. Starbucks was like, our green siren mermaid wasn't enough. And they decided to go back to the new one. And it was in honor of their 40th anniversary. But people kind of found this, um, slutty and like, um, it, they kind of found it too risque. Some people found it offensive, slutty. Sorry, I'm using the word that. But there was literally a part. And this is what she looks like from behind. So her tail was split open and she's bare-breasted. You can see her breasts like right there. 
So she got a whole bakery. <laughs> but it's kind of weird that they have, like, why would you want to see a siren from behind? <laughs> and um, then a nautical figure called to them. While they were studying, studying old marine books, a, mus a nautical figure called to them. And I feel like the siren is like basically a woman's head interpreted before it was finally interpreted as the mermaid-like creature we know now. But sirens were sadistic and would lure sail and would seduce sailors with their beauty. Then they would eat them. But let's just say it didn't go very good. Many people were offended. Offense offended by this let's just say it didn't do very 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 um well well see right there it has the word slutty so basically the pu basically the public was angry and i hope you guys like that video and that's it